So it's summertime, it's hot, your AC unit is not turning on. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you could always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So let me tell you a quick story on how my AC unit went out. It's summertime here now in the Pacific Northwest. We just got home, the house is a little bit warm. I go to my uh, temperature control unit, I turn on the cool, and the fan seems to be working well. It was blowing inside my home but it started getting hotter and hotter looks like the hot air from the outside was just getting blown in i went down to my vents and there was no cold air coming out so i go outside i check on my ac unit right here this is actually a heat pump as well so you can have either heating and cooling i go outside here and it wasn't turning on like it usually does at this point the easiest fix that i can show you today is make sure you go and check your circuit breaker so if you go look at your circuit breaker and you see that the, the your heating and cooling unit has been tripped it's on red that means that's just a quick fix just go and reset it and go test it out see if it turns back on and your problem is solved so if you're unlucky like me it wasn't that easy fix i went to my circuit breaker i saw that the circuit breaker was tripped i reset it but still there were no power getting fed into this ac unit so now we're gonna go to option number two this problem number two is actually the most common problem that most ac owners have when it comes to their ac unit so let me go show you what's going on and what i did to fix it what you want to do first is locate where the wires or the power is getting fed from so if you go circle around your ac unit right here you're going to notice that there's two lines that are going right here the ones that's important is where the wires are getting fed so if you follow this power line right here, this is the panel that's pretty much where all the 220 volts are going through all the way to this panel right here. This house is under renovation, so don't mind the different colors. Not all AC units have this panel right here. Sometimes it's directed to your, your circuit breaker panel. So if you need to turn off your AC unit through there, do that. But if you have something similar to this, let's go and I'll show you how to open it like that so in this case you can actually take this off if you wish or you can just leave it like that there are many versions on this kind of panel on this one it's pretty easy disconnect the 220 volts feeding to the AC unit again to do this all you have to do is that you got to pull this out like so so by pulling this out this connection there's no more power being fed onto your AC unit. This is the safety feature that you need to do so you don't electrocute yourself, all right? So take this out, put this in a safe condition somewhere where it doesn't will not get wet or dirty or destroyed, and we're good with that one. So while I was doing my diagnostic, I found two issues. The first issue that I found was that if you open this up right here, while I was looking right here, notice that there are two 30 amp fuses right there. Now different models come with different types of fuses, so make sure you check which, um, amperage or fuses that you need for your certain model for this model that i have i have two 30 amp fuses so if you don't know what the fuses do they're used to protect the electrical components and wiring from excessive amperage which can damage either the motors the switches and wiring so a blown fuse usually indicates another issue and took the damage so that more expensive components wouldn't need to be replaced i actually hold the old fuses right here look how old they are i mean you can't really see them but inside of these are blown out very easy to take out you just pop them out and pop the new one in given these are the maintenance stuff that you need to check on your ac units so these are the pretty one of the easiest fixes that you can do make sure you get the right model for your ac unit you just popped out the old ones and replace them with the new that was actually one issue out of the two issues that i have the next issue that I have is I'll show you. What we're going to do now is we're going to follow this panel and we're going to go and trace it to the unit. All right, so it looks like it ends right here. Depending on which model you have, sometimes you might have to take out the whole panel. In this model, looks like we only have to take out this little screw right there. This right here. And I should be able to pop out this side so we can get access to the components in here. I'm using a 5 16 socket. So 
So if we just pull this off, if you take this panel out, you can get access to all the wires. The one that we're focused on is this right here. So what you're actually seeing right there is called the capacitor. It's the AC capacitor. It's pretty much, it gathers up all this energy, right? It gives a sudden jolt of energy and electricity to the AC unit for the motor to start. This actually was the new capacitor that I just replaced. This was the old capacitor right here. Looking at this old capacitor, you can see that there are numbers written all over here. The numbers that we're gonna be looking at to test this capacitor are these microfarads right here. Let me give you a, here there are two numbers, 55 and 55 slash five. So 55 is the compressor rating and the five is the fan rating. So when we test this out with our meter, this is what is supposed to be close to reading it. If you look at the top right here, common usually have four prongs on there. Now, if you look at the Herm, the Herm is usually a three prong. That's pretty much the compressor motor. And then you have the fan. So the fan, very straightforward, that's the fan motor or heat pump condenser. Now this was made specifically for this AC unit that's why it only has three but the one I put in is a universal one I'll leave the universal one on the link down below if you need a universal uh, capacitor what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the compressor rating so that's gonna be this 55 first okay so we're gonna go and set our meter to MFD or whichever your capacitant um, section is on your meter and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your common your black you're gonna put it onto the C where the common touch that and you are gonna, the other one is gonna go to the Herm, which is the compressor motor. So you're gonna touch that. And I'm gonna show a picture on here. I, I can't hold the camera and the meter at the same time, but I did this uh, while it was still on, on the unit. And I'll leave a picture on the right side and that's what I was reading right there. So if you can go check right there, it was actually reading a 14.12. So that's way below our 55 marking. So that's actually an indicator already that this is going bad or it's already bad. Now we're gonna go test for the fan rating. Put the common again on the common and now you're gonna put the other one on the fan. So the fan is this one. So if you look on the picture on the right, I came with 4.8. So 4.8, um, so that's not bad. It's actually probably still good knowing that this is five. So the 55 compressor rating was well below 55. We already know that this thing right here was our main problem. And that was why this was not turning on. So this needs to get replaced. The easiest way to change this out is before you take out all those um, co connectors right there, before you take any of them out, take a picture so that you can copy it and put it on the section right here. Since this is a universal capacitor, Notice how there's different types. You don't need to buy a specific one. This will fit most of the AC units out there, okay? So I'll leave a link on the description down below if you want one of these universal ones. This is around $54 on Amazon. If you go and have a person, an AC unit guy come here, he's gonna charge you 400 plus for just to install and put this on when you can get this for $54 on Amazon. I'll leave the link on the description down below. Pretty much just copy the connection through here, connect it through there, put it back on, secure it. So let's go close this up and we are gonna go and you can just throw this away. Let's put back the cover. So I got my son here. He's my future AC unit guy. <laughs> and looks like he got the panel back on. Good job, dude. High five. All right. Okay, so once you get the panel on, Take that little connector that you took out from the panel and then you can insert that back on. It's a safety feature. Push that back in like so. Connection should be things back on. It's live. No more touching that AC panel right there. And you can just close this up. Like so, then you can put your lock so nobody can tamper on that. So why does the AC capacitor go out? Why does it get blown out? Well, for my situation, what happened was 
We actually had a plumbing leak inside the home and the house smelled really bad from the sewage. So my wife and I, we opened up all the windows and we ran our AC um, on the whole time so we can get all that nasty air out of there. So we had this running for two days straight and it finally gave out. So that's what's pretty much what happened. If the system overheats, that can cause your, your capacitor to blow out. And with, you know, with normal items, like what you see here, these units, they do get old. We've been here for six years now. And yeah, we haven't, we don't know what the old owner did or how much they maintain this. Life happens, you get, you know, you get your other stuff that you need to take care of and yeah, <laughs> systems get old and you just have to maintain it so this is one of them that you have to maintain other issues might be short circuits and power surges depending on where your areas are that can cause a failure as well two indicators that will definitely let you know that your ac unit's not working is you go out here definitely nothing is working you don't hear anything and the other one is definitely if you hear a humming sound so once again friends that's how you do a quick fix and easiest way you can do to diagnose if when your AC unit is not working. It's your capacitor and your fuses and your circuit breaker. So those three things I want you to check. All right. So this by doing that, that can save you thousands from having someone to go over here and charge you where you can do it yourself so easily. All right, friends. So if you found this video helpful, friends, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe notification bell. And I'll see you friends on the next video, which comes into cleaning the coils so you can have better airflow. So stay tuned for that video.